Catherine, I hear I read your piece and, and I heard you just mention it. The federal ban on price gouging for groceries. You are skeptical of this. Why? Well, first of all, nobody can explain what price gouging means. It's, it's like that old line about pornography. I know it when I see it, uh, in the sense that what does it mean to have an excessive price or an excessive pro profit margin? That seems to be shorthand for a price or a profit margin that, that bugs me, that seems too high. Uh, so, you know, it's very hard to pin down what this would actually mean. If you look at the legislation that, as I mentioned, is already in the Senate, um, led by Senator Senate Warren uh, and Senator Bob Casey and, and a slew of others, the particular way that this is written, which is likely to be the template for any proposal that Harris would eventually um, embrace, is especially bad in that it just bans excessive prices, uh, grossly excessive prices, grossly excessive profit margins, and says that the Federal Trade Commission can use any metric it deems appropriate to decide what that what that would would mean, um, which basically says like it's not going to be markets, it's not going to be supply and demand that's uh, determining how much your grocery store charges you for for milk or for eggs it's going to be some bureaucrat in dc which seems like totally unworkable first of all for the ftc to be deciding like how much kroger charges for eggs in michigan um but it also would be very bad for markets we've seen this kind of thing tried in lots of other countries before venezuela argentina the soviet union etc it leads to shortages it leads to black markets um you know, plenty of uncertainty. And beyond that, the specific way this bill is written might actually increase prices because of some of the other language in it. Um, things like requiring companies, uh, public companies to disclose in their quarterly uh, reports, their mm -hmm. quarterly earnings reports, how they're setting prices, which is a great way to help them collude, <laughs> which normally we don't want them to do. So anyway, you know, the devil's in the, in the details, I guess, for that bill, but it's really hard for me to imagine any form of legislation that uh, preserves the spirit of what she's proposing that would not be, uh, you know, at best do nothing, at worst cause a lot of harm. Flashback. You cast yourself on the campaign trail as a truth seller. You say we need yeah. to tell truths. Yeah. Um, what do you say, or uh, tell me if you think this is fair, that as you talk to Democratic voters, they're hungry mm -hmm. uh, and they want ideas. Mm -hmm. And so you'll hear things like the Green New Deal. You'll yeah. hear things like uh, yeah. Medicare for All. Uh, you'll hear things like uh, whether it's taxes. You'll hear things. Right. Uh, at what point do you say, that's our North Star, but we have to be realists? We, there's no question we have to be practical. But being practical also recognizes that climate change is an existential threat to us as human beings. Being practical recognizes that greenhouse gas emissions are threatening our, our, our air and it, it threatening the planet and that it is well within our capacity as human beings to change our behaviors in a way that we can reduce its effects. That's practical. Can we afford it? Of course we can afford it. Two and a half, three trillion dollars a year for Medicare for all by some studies. I don't, depending on which portions of the Green New Deal you pick to do first, that's money. Uh, that you know what the Republicans are going to say, tax and spend liberals, pie in the sky. One of the things that I admire and respect is the measurement that is captured in three letters, ROI. Mm -hmm. What's the return on the investment? People in the private sector understand this really well. It's not about a cost, it's about an investment. And then the question should be, is it worth the cost in terms of the investment potential? Are we going to get back more than we put in? So when you Mayor invest, Bloomberg, well, the, Amy Klobuchar, some of your potential fellow Democrats say, no, it's too much, it's too ambitious, it's too expensive. You think they're wrong. I look forward to that debate on the debate stage. I look forward to it very much.